Hey, what's going on, guys? Brecky's back again. Today I took a trip down to um, Nike Bloor in uh, downtown Toronto, as well as livestock and a drift, a couple sneaker spots, and I uh, took a couple pictures. And here's a slideshow. First up, we got the Nike Fuel Band. Really want one, but it's way too expensive for my liking. Got the Nike Free Run model, and then uh, here's the quick shot of the first floor. And then here's some football gear. Shout out to all the football lovers out there. Here's some Jordan gear. This stuff was actually really, really expensive. I didn't really see anything else. Got some mannequins with Jordan gear in the backdrop. Here's some cool looking stuff. There's a camo foam posits. Got the 11 lows. Got some Piper Flights. Elite models. LeBron Tan lows. Really cool colorways. Got the new Kobe 8 right there. It's pretty much like a bright crimson colorway with an orange bottom. This guy here is on my wish list, but I'm not playing 294 plus tax. That's just way too expensive to count. Here's another wall of cool stuff. Let me just take a quick look here. You got the Lunar Chuckas, Biotech Dunks, uh, Kobe's Lifestyles, the Brown Lifestyle, Sunsets, uh, Turf Jets, Trainer Ones, the Bo Jacksons, some Roshis. Someone tell me what the heck the inspiration behind this was. I know it's called a Mexican blanket, but if you've been following me for a while, you know I love my Kobe's. This is not one of them. Here's a shot of the Mercurial Vapor 9s. I've never seen this colorway before. If you know if this is a special edition, let me know. This picture was taken just outside of a drift and livestock. A bunch of these shoe heads were sitting across the street. When I was walking, I saw some pink foam, some Jordan 12s, some red 4s, all these guys just sitting on lawn chairs. I assumed they were waiting for the denim uh, LeBrons uh, coming out for tomorrow. I'm not really a fan of them. What's your guys' opinion on those? And then uh, I took a picture of the Jordan wall they had, some exclusive, some OG stuff. Uh, the only price I checked was some uh, Cat 4s, it was $4.25 tax. Never been a Jordan head myself. Let me know if you can name all the Jordans on this wall. Got to see some Olympic sixes, some sevens, some hairs, some lightning, some thunder. You know, some some general heat, I guess. So I assume most of these are, or some of these are OGs. That's why they're so expensive. And um, yeah, I was just standing at this wall and asked the employee. They weren't even sure whether they were getting the den denims or not. Uh, I think they might have had a shipping error or something. But uh, he was kind of rude to me, but whatever. Uh, I, I usually stick to online shopping anyways. I don't have to deal with bad customer service, generally. If you don't get the shoe, it doesn't feel as bad. Personally, I would never camp out for a shoe. I'd rather just get up early online. If anything, try multiple sites. I feel like people who get up early, camp out like 12 hours early, even a day early, that's just crazy. Well guys, that's pretty much the end of my video. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll catch you later. Peace out.